Today in the news, we talk about Ampere, Little, Intel beating AMD, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your Boot Sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. Over the weekend, we got our first look at one of the next gen Ampere GPUs, the RTX 3080. Now, I'm not talking about benchmarks, but an actual look at the card itself, which reveals some extra info. And if you thought that NVIDIA was going to stick with the Founders Edition cooling design it introduced with the uh, RTX 2000 series, you would be wrong. Or not, honestly, this could be a hoax, but here it is. Yep, it certainly looks different. By the way, the blue is just the plastic wrapping, it's actually silver. At first glance, it might look a little bit like a single fan blower card, but nope. All this black area seems to be the heatsink, and if you look at the back, the PCB is actually cut short, allowing a second fan to be placed there. The irregular slash short PCB reminds me of AMD's Fury cards. They had a shorter PCB too, with extended heatsink, but at least it was using HBM memory, so it could save some space around the chip. I'm not saying that NVIDIA will be using HBM, by the way. It's definitely a weirder setup, but cooling-wise, it has the same kind of air dissipation as any two-fan design. The heatsink, though, this is where the magic will probably happen, and probably will need to happen, too. We'll get to that in a few seconds, though. Other information on the card also came out from Moore's Law is Dead. According to his sources, the card will drop the virtual link USB-C port, at least on the engineering sample. Now, I know what you might say. Who cares? No one used it anyways. Well, yes and no. The Oculus Quest could make use of it, but more importantly, so could you. It's not just a display connection. It's actually a fully fledged USB 3.1 Type-C port. For someone like me who doesn't have USB-C on their motherboard, it's a plus. Moore's Law is Dead also shared some extra information, like Ampere trading efficiency for higher than intended clock speeds. That new information is in line with a previous chip hell post from about two weeks ago that predicted the irregular PCB of the recently leaked 3080 and added that it would have extreme power consumption. According to the post, more power than anything Nvidia has ever put out. According to leaker Copite 7 Kimmy, it should be around 300 to 375 watts, although for Nvidia, anything above 300 watts would be considered really high. I mean, there's a reason why the first Ampere GPU we saw came out of an oven. Also, the same leaker says that the VRAM would be either GDDR6X or just GDDR6 running at an effective clock of 21,000 megahertz. Although, just like the TDP by Copite 7 Kimmy, he's either trying to keep some secrecy for his sources or is strictly speculating on the subject. Honestly, at this point, there's nothing more to talk about with Ampere until the benchmark's faucets start to drip or hard specs start showing up. Also in AMD, it looks like the company finally acknowledges that the RX 5500 XT 4GB was kind of a dud. In a blog post by the company's product marketing specialist specifically for gaming GPUs, it reads, Game Beyond 4GB. Essentially, a blog post begging you to buy cards equipped with 6GB of VRAM and up. This would be to avoid the issues that can occur with insufficient VRAM. Now, technically, this is the marketing specialist's opinion and not AMD's as a company, but he's literally in the marketing of that segment he discusses, so yeah, I don't think AMD plans on releasing four gigabyte cards on desktops anymore. And that is pretty much it for the catch up, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Also, by the way, there hasn't been many videos this week simply because I broke my teleprompter and uh, yeah, I haven't had time to fix it until today. So have a great day. <laughs> Fine. It's just the light. <laughs>